going on guys? Welcome everyone back to a, another video. Welcome back to another NFL Predictions. This is week 7 of the NFL. How you guys doing? It was a crazy week of NFL. We had overtime games, we had comebacks, we had blowouts, and uh, it was a pretty fun week of NFL football. And uh, we're just going to continue right into week 7. Um, and uh, we're going to start off with the uh, Broncos and the Browns on Thursday Night Football. Uh, right now, while I'm filming this, I have no idea if Baker Mayfield is going to be out. So, it kind of sways my pick over to the Broncos to win this game 27-23 over the Browns. Let's just see if Baker Mayfield is playing. Um, I just got to get these videos out earlier, so I got to record these earlier so I get them out on Thursday. And sometimes you don't know the news till like, the day of, possibly, of um, the game. So, we'll see. But yeah, Broncos win it. Next, we got the Kansas City Chiefs heading down. The Tennessee Titans, uh, and um, you know the Chiefs got their win over the Washington Football Team this past week, and then the Tennessee Titans, how they did it, they stopped the Bills from getting one yard in that fourth and down in the goal line to uh, win the game. Uh, the Bills could get the field goal, we could get overtime, and we're going to be talking about this differently. So Titans upset the Bills. Now we got Titans and the Chiefs. This should be a good one, um, but. Sorry, but I'm going to go with the Chiefs on this one. Um, I'm going to go 31-28 over the Titans. Up next, we got the Washington football team taking on the Green Bay Packers. Green Bay Packers took out the Bears, and, of course, the Washington football team lost to the Chiefs. Uh, this looks like a uh, another good win for the Packers. I'm going to take them, and they're going to win 28-17 to uh, over the Washington football team. Another interesting game we got is the Cincinnati Bengals heading down to Baltimore take on the Ravens. Uh, Ravens, uh, great. They uh, continue to win. Big win over the Chargers. And then we got the Cincinnati Bengals, who took their win and took over the Lions, which they needed to do that. And now we got a little divisional ride on the play. Um, I I like the Bengals, but I don't see them winning this game. So I'm going to go with the Ravens winning it 24-14 to over the Cincinnati Bengals. Next, we got the Panthers and the New York Giants. Panthers overtime loss to the Vikings and Giants. You just, yep, happened again to the uh, Rams. You know, just got blown out. Um, I'm going to go with the Panthers to win this game. 21-20. It'll be close. I can see this game going either way. But Giants, if you're going to win a game, this is the game you got to win. Now, this is a game that uh, kind of confuses me in trying to pick a winner. It's the Falcons and the Dolphins, a matchup you don't very see very often. And... Both these teams having a rough time. The Dolphins had a, um, a crazy loss to the Jaguars. The Falcons had their bye week. So, I'm going to go, you know, I'll go with the Falcons win this one. 28-24. to 24, uh, Just be close. Uh, but that bye week should have helped the Falcons out. And uh, just a little bit to uh, overcome the Dolphins. Next, we got the Jets and the Patriots. The Jets. Uh, I didn't. I believe they had a bye week, and then the Patriots took out, uh, or did one of the best performances they have done all season against the Dallas Cowboys in an overtime victory. And what a game it was! Cowboys taking it off with the CD Lamb touchdown, great game for the Cowboys. Cowboys also bye week this week, so we're not going to talk about them. But the Patriots taking on the Jets. Um, I'm going to the Patriots 31-17. Let's see if they can keep this momentum up uh, from the game last week and uh, see if they can uh, defeat the Jets because the Jets are bad and the Patriots should win that game. So we got the Eagles and the Vegas Raiders. This is, a, once, once again, another matchup you don't see very much. Eagles lost to the Buccaneers. Raiders beat the Broncos. Raiders going to beat the Eagles. I say yes, and I'm going to go with the score of 28-24. Raiders over Philly. Next, we got the Lions taking on the Rams. Now, this is an interesting game because both quarterbacks are from uh, both opposite teams. Rams had golf. Of course, Lions had Stafford. They both traded quarterbacks, and now they're going to be playing each other in L.A. So, it was kind of a cool game to see. But, sadly, Jared Goff and the Lions are not that good. They are the last uh, winless team in the NFL. And, sadly, that streak will continue as the Lions will lose and the Rams will win 31-10. Uh, so... But should be a fun game just to see Stafford and Golf go at it. Next, we got the Chicago Bears and the Buccaneers. So, uh, Chicago lost to Green Bay, of course, and then the Buccaneers beat the Eagles. Uh, but I just don't see the Bears doing anything against the Buccaneers. I mean, Justin Fields is playing pretty good. Uh, he's taking steps. You know, just he's got to learn. And the team just got to step up. So, but I'm going to go with the 
Uh, Buccaneers in this game, 35-21 over the Chicago Bears. And up next, we got the Houston Texans taking on the Arizona Cardinals. You know, who really wants to see it? I'm just kidding. But there's going to be fans that want to watch this game. It's going to be uh, Cardinal fans because their team is fantastic. They're the undefeated team left in the league. And they're going to win this game. And they're going to keep their streak going. 31-10 over the Texans. All right, and now we have Sunday night football. And it's going to be a banger. Well, maybe it will. Maybe it won't. But it's going to consist of the Indianapolis Colts and the San Francisco 49ers. Now both these teams are doing completely, um, like, they're in the middle. They're not doing totally great, not doing bad. I mean, Colts won. You last week taking out the Texans. 49ers had a bye week, I believe. So, both these teams on the uprise. Um, I'm going to go with the Colts, or no, I'm going to go with the 49ers in this one. 24 to... 17 should be a close game, but I honestly could see the Colts uh, taking this one too. But that's what my final pick is 49ers win it once again 24 17 over the Colts. To end this week seven of football, we have Monday night football. We have the Saints and the Seahawks on Monday night football. Saints by week, Colt or the Seahawks lost to the Pittsburgh Steelers in a game which could have gone really bad if they just. Didn't run out. Of, why didn't he not run out of bounds at that last play? I never understand that. But yeah, Colts. Or, man, I don't know why I'm saying Colts. I got Colts in the front now. Sorry, Saints, Seahawks. I'm going to go with the, you know. Go with the Saints. I feel like Saints, Saints come off that bye week. And James Winston, I think this is, is, it, is it his good week? Because he's like every other week. So, I'm going to go with the Saints 23-21 over the um, the Seahawks. And uh, that will end out the Week 7 of NFL. All right, guys, that is it for my predictions for Week 7. I uh, can't wait to see these things play out. Um, I am, you know, looking at the schedule and, you know, games can change. But, you know, honestly, to me, this isn't, you know... I feel like the big, we have a lot of teams on the bye week right now. And this feels like kind of not the biggest matchups in the world. You know, but anything can happen in the NFL, and uh, you can take a bad game and get a good game. So we'll see. Won't try to judge the teams yet. Uh, but yeah, week uh, week six was a blast. We had, like I said, the Cowboys Patriot game, phenomenal, great matchup. You know, you had the 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 crazy game between the Ravens taking out the Chargers. I mean, who saw that coming? I thought that was going to be at least a close game for my predictions. I thought the Chargers would take that game, but they don't. Good thing they're on a bye this week. You had the Vikings overtime win against the Panthers. And then, you know, it's just crazy. Um, and then you had the Packers and uh, Aaron Rodgers. Oh, I own you, Bears fans, but he can never own an NFC Championship win. Um, you had the Chiefs. Are they coming on the uprise, maybe? And then the Bills, that crazy Monday Night Football game coming down the last second. Derrick Henry, what a beast. Derrick Henry is, guys. Derrick Henry is the best running back in the league right now. Um, there's no debating that. And... Uh, the Bills, so um, definitely excited to see Titans and the Chiefs. It's probably going to be the number one game I'm excited to see. If you guys enjoy these predictions, please like this video and subscribe today if you have not already. Come back here every week for another prediction video for the NFL. Like I said, every will go up to the Super Bowl, and uh, we'll see how we do um, with my predictions at the end of the year and, uh, yeah, and all that other stuff. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.